What up, Sackers? Big Stack McGee here. How are you doing today? It is Saturday, January 15th, and it is a bright and sunny winter day. It's about 6 below zero Fahrenheit, and uh, <laughs> but the sun's out, so that feels pretty darn good. Uh, but here I am. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've been able to make a video. It was a uh, crazy end of the year for me. Uh, it starts the new year just really, really busy. Lots of extra jobs. Um, I think I mentioned in my last video I was doing my best to take on as much extra work as I can so I could just pay cash for our um, home property bill. Uh, the state where I live in, our property taxes are high compared to probably a lot of places in the country. But um, So at the end of every year, you've got to be able to shell out quite a bit of money. Instead of having to dip in any kind of fund, I always like to just take on as much extra work as I can and just pay pay cash, and I was uh, successful with that, So, which was great. It meant a little bit of less uh, precious metals uh, uh, purchases, but uh, it sure feels good to be able to have that obligation done for another year and then uh, kind of start the process all over again. But I do have a nice uh, brand new 2022 purchase of silver, so I'm excited to uh, rip into this in just a little bit. I do want to mention that uh, it's been really interesting to follow what's going on in the markets and what the Fed is doing and the interest rate hikes that are planned for this year, and uh, I'm very curious what that's going to do to the price of uh, silver and gold, um, and, and also uh, the you know the exchange ratio between silver and gold. I'm curious, because it's really high again right now. It's like if I remember correctly, right around 80 to 1, 80 ounces of silver to an ounce of gold. Um, so if that number were to fall again, get down closer to uh, mid-60s or less, then I'm certainly going to want to switch over more to gold, which is a long-term um, goal of mine is to get as much gold as possible. But for right now, we're sticking with some silver, and I do have a really, really nice piece in here to, uh, to break out in just a second. Something else that I did was uh, after the first of the year, I took a, a good chunk of money that I had sitting around in savings, and I moved that to purchase I-bonds. I mentioned that a few, I think a couple months ago. Um, but uh, the, you know, the interest rates right now, as far as the I-bonds, is over 7%. And so not a bad place to park some money when you don't know what else uh, to do with it. Certainly not a savings account. You know, But uh, um, be forewarned, if you do move uh, money into savings bonds of any kind, it's, it's a minimum six months you need to park it there, and preferably at least a year in order to get the maximum value uh, out of that, but seven uh, percent on your money, you know, I'll take it. It's, it's, there's not a lot of guarantees in life, but that's as close to a guarantee on uh, on that interest rate um, as you can get. So, I'm um, just thought I would share that. Let's uh, let's tear into this and uh, see what we got. Okay, boy, I love these bars. Uh, first of all, um, Scottsdale Mint is one of my favorite mints that are that's out there. A lot of times, it's they sell premium products at a premium, of course, um, but their bars are just fantastic. And so, what I picked up was this nice Scottsdale silver twenty ounce silver bar. little loaf. Thin, narrow, it's like a silver candy bar. Feels so heavy in the hand for the size. Um, I know that's true for a lot of silver bars, right? But still, it's a very satisfying bar of silver to have. I have a few of these. I don't remember how many I have. Um, I would like to be able to get out um, all of my silver bars here shortly and uh, kind of do an update video because recently we've eclipsed the thousand ounces of silver for our silver bars and I've had a couple requests for getting that out and I I keep meaning to do it it's just a couple of <laughs> a couple of roadblocks in the way of that one being super stinking busy two trying not to do it in a way where all of my children are privy to that uh, and three um, not all of my silver is in the same location so retrieving a thousand ounces of silver from various places takes a little bit of work and uh, forethought and 
So I'm going to have to figure out that and get that happening sometime soon, I hope, because um, that's just that's always that's always fun to get that out and uh, display and see it all in one place. It makes it more real, <laughs> I guess. Um, but anyway, back to the Scottsdale bar. Um, I do love this specific design. What's interesting about this one to me, though, and you're probably not going to be able to pick it up, but there's a lot of, I don't know how else to put it, other than indentations. It's not perfectly smooth on this side. It's like, you, I feel bump, 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 like with several. And that's true on both sides, but mostly this side. It's a little bit uneven, but not in a bad way. It just gives it some personality, I guess. I don't know. Very neat. And I believe this to be a cast bar. I think they put all the shot in and they, you know, fired in a furnace or something like that. But very, very smooth on the bottom. And kind of pillowy and stamped on the, the front side there. So 20 more ounces of silver. Um, it's funny. I know everyone's got different tastes. But uh, it's when it comes down to buying this or a tube of like 20 generic ounces of silver. I'll take the bar every time. It's just something way more satisfying uh, to me because I think I have no problem picking this up and handling it. You know, you have, you have some nice shiny silver rounds and, you know, you don't want to be splashing that all over the place and putting your thumbprints on there. But for, for a bar, I think it's just a, a little bit more, I don't know, widely accepted to be able to do that. So, and these are nice looking bars, you know, don't get me wrong, but I'm not worried about leaving a thumbprint on a bar of silver. So, but, yeah, uh, let's talk about a couple other things. Um, so um, then the, within the next few weeks, um, I do want to, <clears throat> um, you know, probably dive in a little bit more to some goals for 2022. It's hard to know exactly um, what to do as far as precious metals um, purchases and things like that. I just, I like to buy what I can when I can. And over time, at dollar cost averages, um, for the last many months, you know, silver's been more expensive than I'm used to buying it. You know, the majority of my stacking career, I had silver in between, you know, 14 or $15 and 17 or $18 or something like that, back and forth. And so anytime, like, like silver right now is sitting right at $23 an ounce. This was picked up, it had dipped down below 23 It's 22 something when I picked this up uh, from Scottsdale on eBay, which was, by the way, extremely fast shipping, by the way got this within uh, four or five days from having ordered it, which is great. Um, so it's hard for me to set, like, a, I want this many ounces of gold or this many ounces of silver. Um, I just like to maximize what I can get. Now, just to kind of clarify, um, and I'll probably talk about this in a future video, but I don't have a specific precious metals budget. I have lots of different things that I save for. I have um, saving for my kids' college funds, saving for my retirement, saving for my wife's retirement. We also have um, other investing and stuff that we do that money goes for. That's th that is guaranteed to come out of paychecks. Um, I don't have to do it. It's just it's preset. It's all fully funded every single month. Having done that, any money that I earn over and above that is kind of like up for grabs, so to speak. Um, and so I do use that money to buy precious metals, but we also use that to fund vacations, and to do other other frilly kind of things, you know, if uh, the wife wants to put a new floor in, well, that's going to have to come out of that money for that. We do have savings I could use, but I don't like dipping into that, you know. So um, I just I like to be able to pay as I go, not just for home renovations or appliances or things like that or auto stuff, but um, like for property taxes, like I mentioned earlier. So it's just kind of how it's been, but it feels really comfortable to be able to. Um, you know, if you feel like you don't have quite as much money to do the things you want to, I just work more. And that's that's my solution. It gives me incentive to want to do that, as opposed to diving into any kind of savings to pay for something. So once once money makes its way into my <laughs> my life, I don't like to see it leave. So I'll just make more if I need to. But I uh, hope that makes sense. I don't, I'm not sure if any of you guys feel the same way. But uh, it just it gives me incentive to work harder, we'll put it that way. And it feels so good when you're able to see uh, the fruits of your labor in silver form. That's all I have for you today. Uh, I appreciate you watching this video. I'll be back with you on a more regular basis here now. Um, but, um, yeah, I hope everyone is doing great. Uh, I appreciate you watching. This is Big Stack McGee, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Have a good one.